The movie begins by showing a young man named Jeremy who looks very happy because he will go to his new campus and live in a dormitory. He lives with a family who loves him very much. Even when he is about to leave, his younger brother, Josh, looks so sad when he finds out they are going to separate. Josh is one of his younger brothers who has had a mental disorder since birth, but that doesn't reduce his affection for Josh. Before leaving, his father gave Jeremy a guitar, but he knew it was his father's favorite guitar, so he refused it. Before Jeremy got on the bus, his father gave him another guitar, but the guitar this time was new. His father advised him to continue developing his musical talent, and his journey began. Sometime later, after Jeremy arrived in front of the campus, he got out of the taxi and went straight to the dormitory. When he was walking towards the room, he suddenly stopped because he saw a poster of the performance welcoming new students that would be held tonight. In the evening, Jeremy went to the concert, and when he entered, he saw a man playing the guitar alone. It turned out that the man was John Luke, a famous musician who was his idol and was one of the reasons why he chose to study at the campus. After that, Jeremy greeted John, then asked how to make a beautiful song like him. Not only that, but Jeremy also gave his views on songs in the world of music, but John said that his perspective on songs was wrong. John explained that if a musician aspires to create a beautiful song that can touch listeners' hearts, then there is no need to think about other things and focus on who the song was created for and for whom the song is sung. After hearing that advice, Jeremy said goodbye, but John felt interested in him, so John called him again, gave him a guitar, and asked him to tune the guitar. After that, John went up on stage to appear at the concert, and when he was performing a song, the audience there looked very enthusiastic. The audience, who were enthusiastic to see him joined in to sing along with him while Jeremy was on the side of the stage holding John's guitar earlier. When Jeremy looked at the audience, suddenly, his gaze stopped when he saw a woman who was so beautiful. The woman was following John singing while enjoying the song John was bringing. Even when he was called on stage to give the guitar to John, he was still staring at her. After the event, Jeremy met the woman he had seen earlier. He ventured to call her and invite her to get acquainted. She welcomed him kindly and introduced herself as Melissa. Jeremy nervously said that he was impressed by Melissa when she was enjoying the song that John was singing earlier. He revealed that he was so amazed he kept looking at her until the concert ended. Hearing that, Melissa laughed. But when they were busy talking, her friends asked her to go away, so she said goodbye to Jeremy. After meeting her, he felt like falling in love at first sight with her. The next day, Jeremy was seen singing under a tree, but suddenly he was approached by Melissa. That made him nervous because he didn't know what to say to her, but she lifted the mood by praising his song. Unfortunately, when they were about to talk, Melissa had to go to class. But before going any further, she invited Jeremy to a beach to enjoy the beautiful night. Hearing the invitation, he accepted and was very happy, because he thought Melissa was asking him out. Finally, the night that Jeremy had been waiting for arrived. He came to the beach and was greeted by Melissa. Unexpectedly, John was there with Melissa's other friends, which meant it wasn't a date. At that time, Jeremy saw Melissa, who was very close to John, so he asked her about their relationship. Melissa replied that John was her best friend, whom she had known since she first entered the campus. Even so, Jeremy looks jealous and thinks that Melissa and John have a relationship that is more than just good friends. They seem to enjoy the beach night while circling the bonfire. Melissa then asked Jeremy to sing a song, so he strummed his guitar and started singing. Unexpectedly, Melissa sang along, and John played his guitar, so that night was very enjoyable because they all spent time singing together. As time went on, Jeremy continued to write songs, even though he didn't feel confident about performing his songs in front of a crowd. One day when he was watching John's concert, Jeremy was asked to go on stage by John to sing. At first, Jeremy refused, but Melissa forced him, so he went on stage. He looked nervous because before, he had never sung in front of a crowd on stage. But eventually, he started strumming his guitar and singing a song he had composed. Unexpectedly, John, Melissa, and the audience were swept away when they heard that song. While singing, Jeremy occasionally looked at Melissa as if the song was a song he had composed to represent his heart, and wondered whether she had a special relationship with John. After the concert was over, Jeremy took a walk with Melissa while talking about his performance earlier. At that time, he suddenly asked about her relationship with John. Hearing this question, Melissa apologized to Jeremy because she didn't want to hurt him at this time because she had promised herself that she didn't want to have a relationship with anyone, and John also liked her. However, Melissa seems like she's hiding something. Even though deep inside, she likes Jeremy. Then he asked her again, what if they were meant to be together? He told her to be honest and not hold back her feelings. Unfortunately, she was reluctant to answer and chose to leave him. The next day when Jeremy was sleeping, he suddenly woke up because someone was knocking on his room's door. When he opened the door, he was surprised because it turned out that the person visiting his room was Melissa. She came suddenly and then told him she was asking him out tonight. He felt so happy to hear this because the woman he had liked all this time was willing to open her heart. 
The night that Jeremy had been waiting for had arrived. Melissa then took him to a very beautiful art exhibition. They sat in the middle of the room, and the light slowly dimmed, showing a beautiful view of outer space. Then they lay down on a chair and enjoyed the beauty of outer space and the sky of the room. This moment made Jeremy love Melissa even more. As time went on, they spent their days together. They got closer and got to know each other better. One night, when Jeremy was with John at a restaurant, John suddenly gave him a blank cassette and asked him to fill in the voice on the tape. John explained that one music label offered to work with him. Hearing this, Jeremy was shocked and did not expect that John had been secretly offering his songs to a music company all this time. John asked Melissa to join them for tomorrow's recording. The next day, when Jeremy and Melissa were busy talking, his family invited them to have lunch together. His father, who discovered that his son looked very close to Melissa, asked about their relationship. Melissa answered that they were only friends, but Josh teased that they were dating, which made Jeremy uncomfortable. After that, Melissa accompanied Jeremy to record songs. Inside the studio, he looked serious and really deep into the song he was creating, so he successfully sang the song. After that, John and the music producer said goodbye to leave for a while, so Jeremy asked Melissa to come into the studio. Unexpectedly, he confessed his feelings to Melissa that he loved her, thus making her surprised and confused. Unfortunately, John overheard this, which disappointed him, and he left the studio. Melissa felt bad for John and chose to go after him and not answer Jeremy's feelings. After that incident, Jeremy decided to go home and spend the Christmas holidays with his family. On the way home, he kept thinking about Melissa. Meanwhile, Melissa, who was in her room, couldn't sleep because her stomach was so painful. Sometime later, Jeremy arrived home, but he was always daydreaming because he kept imagining the moments with Melissa before. When he was about to sleep, he suddenly woke up his father because there was a phone call for him. The phone call came from John, who sounded panicked when he reported that Melissa was in the hospital. Hearing the news, Jeremy rushed away using his father's car. But because the journey was so long and tiring, he fell asleep in the waiting room when he arrived at the hospital. Not long after, Jeremy was awakened by Melissa's mother who already knew him because Melissa had told her family a lot about him. Soon after, Jeremy was taken to the room where Melissa was treated. At that time, she began to tell him about the illness she had been suffering from. Melissa said that she had stage 3 cancer which was quite severe, so that made her reluctant to answer his feelings, even though she loved him very much. Melissa doesn't want to see the person she cares about become disappointed because of her illness. Hearing this, Jeremy told her that he sincerely loved her no matter what condition she was in right now. He emphasized that from now on, she doesn't need to be afraid anymore because he promised to always take care of her. The next day, John meets Jeremy on the beach. At that place, John already knew about their relationship and said that at this time, he was supporting Jeremy's relationship with Melissa, even though he loved her. But seeing Melissa, who is now happy when she is close to Jeremy, John feels their happiness together, so he asks Jeremy to take care of her and promises to make her happy for the rest of her life. After that, Jeremy went to see Melissa and gave her a flower, then asked her to go somewhere. It turned out that he had decorated the place with beautiful lights to cheer her up, making Melissa feel very happy. After visiting Melissa at the hospital, Jeremy returned to his house and told his parents that he would soon marry her. At first, his parents were shocked when they heard this, and they felt doubts, but Jeremy kept on convincing them and said that he was ready to get married. Finally, his parents agreed and supported his decision. The next day, when Jeremy was about to leave again, his mother suddenly came and gave him a ring to propose to Melissa. Unexpectedly, the ring is left by his grandmother, which makes him feel happy. After that, Jeremy picked Melissa home from the hospital, and when he arrived outside, he proposed to her whom he loved very much in front of her family. As time went on, Jeremy and Melissa spent their time together. She always accompanies him to sing on stage, and he accompanies Melissa every day to go to the hospital to check on the progress of her disease. One day, Melissa noticed that her hair was starting to fall out, so she finally decided to shave off all of her hair. The next day, Melissa and Jeremy returned to the hospital to see the results of the test she had been taking so far. The doctor explained that cancer she was suffering from could make it impossible for her to have children. Also, she had to undergo surgery to remove the uterus because cancer had spread. Sometime later, Jeremy has become a famous musician, and many fans listen to his music. He always asked his fans for prayers for Melissa's recovery. He was invited to a radio station to talk about Melissa's illness and then sing while praying for her fiancé's recovery. One day, Melissa began to undergo examination after examination before carrying out the operation to remove cancer. At that time, Jeremy continued to pray at a church to ask that the operation would go smoothly, and she could recover from her illness. Not long after, John came to see Jeremy carrying a box containing many letters written with prayers for Melissa's recovery that he had previously collected from Jeremy's fans. After praying for a long time, accompanied by Melissa's elder sister, Jeremy was suddenly called by Melissa's parents who ran to him and said that Melissa had recovered from her illness without having surgery, so he felt very grateful and happy. Six months after her illness recovered, Melissa and Jeremy got married. 
Melissa feels very happy after struggling with her illness. Now she and Jeremy can live happily together. When they returned home, Melissa looked like she was having pain in her stomach, but at that time, she still didn't dare to tell Jeremy. In the middle of the night, Melissa had to wake Jeremy up because of the unbearable pain in her stomach. Hearing this, he took her to the hospital. When she was in the ward, Jeremy was met by a doctor who told him the cancer Melissa had previously suffered from had returned. In fact, cancer had now spread to all other vital organs. Not only that, the doctor explained that her life was only a few weeks away. Hearing this, Jeremy asked the doctor to do various ways so that Melissa could get better again. But the doctor gave up because, with such conditions, surgery would not be able to save her life. In the end, Jeremy took Melissa home, and when she got home, she saw lots of letters containing hopes and prayers for her recovery. Seeing this, Melissa felt sad and went into the bathroom and cried. Sometime later, Jeremy took Melissa to the place where they first met. On stage, she said that she only wanted Jeremy to live happily with her without her presence beside him. Her words seemed to indicate that she would soon leave him. In that place, they both share their sadness while remembering their love story when they first met. After they got home, Jeremy, who was sleeping, suddenly woke up and was startled by Melissa vomiting blood in the bathroom, so he took her to the hospital. Arriving at the hospital, Melissa asked Jeremy to sing one last song for her. Even though his hands were shaking with sadness, he still started playing his guitar and singing while crying. That night, Jeremy kept trying to stay awake to accompany Melissa's last moments of life. And when she had just fallen asleep, he decided to go out for a while to see a doctor. But suddenly, Melissa's elder sister screamed for help because Melissa was in critical condition, and in the end, she died that night. In the morning, Melissa was buried, and when he returned from her funeral, Jeremy became furious because he could not accept that she had left him. Unexpectedly, Jeremy saw a piece of paper inside his guitar, which he had destroyed. It turned out that the paper was the last message Melissa wrote that she put in his guitar hole before she died. The message said Melissa was grateful and happy because she still had time to marry the man she loved and spend time together, even if only shortly. Since then, Jeremy realized that no matter what, he must continue to live. Two years after Melissa's departure, it was seen that Jeremy had become a famous singer and was singing his songs at his very lively solo concert. When the concert ended, Jeremy, who was going home, was suddenly called by a woman who told him that his love story had changed the lives of many people, including her life, because previously she had lost someone she loved very much. But from now on, she will try to get up, just like Jeremy did. Before leaving, he called and asked what her name was, and she replied that her name was Adrian. The film closes by showing Jeremy on a cruise. He is on his way to a concert around the world, and wherever he is, he will always sing songs of his love story with Melissa to the whole world. The moral that can be learned from this movie is, that true love will never die, and it will always live on through the sacrifices and memories that have been lived together, even if it's short.